Welcome back to the channel guys, doing a quick 5 minute update on the difference between low hang points and high hang points, keeping it as short as possible. First up, low hang points, you get two different types, you get fixed arms, something like the flat top has got fixed arms, the arms are connected to the skeleton of the machine um, and basically are not movable. The lower those arms are, the, the, the hook in points where the risers will connect, the more weight shift ability you will have. On swing arms, you'll have various different types, J bars, etc. Basically those arms are flexible, so when you're standing like this, the arms are uh, laying basically uh, f uh, um, vertically downwards, and as the as you infl uh, pull up the ring, the arms will pick up and get to a certain height. Um, the swing arms are also designed to do anti-torque sometimes with different manufacturers, Air Conception, and um, Parajet use, use different designs, and basically they try and get some anti-torque built into the swing arms. All right, so like I said, the lower, the more weight shift you have. So the advantage of low hang points um, will be weight shift ability. You lean one way, or you lean the other way, and you initiate a turn. That's why the Paramount market is so big for low hang points because of weight shifting. Paragliding pilots can transition to paramotoring and ha and can expect a very similar feel to what they were used to in paragliding, and therefore that is the biggest supply of design in the marketplace. Um, all right, so Nirvana offers both low hang points and high hang points, and I'm here to tell you what the differences are. Officially agreed in the examination in South Africa, high hang points is a more stable cross-country system. You have less feedback coming from the glider to the pilot, um, so when you're flying and you're punching through uh, rough weather and conditions, because you're connected to the harness, the harness takes out a lot of that flex coming from what the reflex is happening in the wing, and also because you're connected much higher. Remember what I said, the lower you connect the more weight shift you have. The higher you connect, the less weight shift you have, but the more stability you have. So it's much more comfortable because it connects over here. If the wind, wing is shaking because it's reflexing, it's not affecting you as much because you are below that point. You are hooked in and you're sitting below the hook in point. Very important. When you're opening up the trims, either the brake lines become, uh, or the, the brake toggles will, uh, might, in some cases, might be so high that it's uncomfortable to reach to. And therefore, uh, opening up these trims on something like the Dudex, it's really important to have those little TST kits because it'll increase comfort. Now, high hang points, remember, guys, this is not a debatable point. It is actual fact. It has a lot more stability control, yet a lot less weight shift. So preferable for cross-country flight. It's much more comfortable in the seat um, flying in something like the Icarus on a high hang point setup. Now, you're going to get some retailers and salespeople try to tell you otherwise. If they don't offer both systems and they're not giving you a truthful answer, they may maybe they're just telling you or giving you a message based on the fact that that's the only product that their company supplies. Nirvana has seen the market size in paragliding, therefore they made the low hang points as well. Actually, the first air flight was that. However, the the outcry from everybody out there was to get a high hang points machine back for cross country motor flying because of the additional comfort and directional stability. Directional stability also very important with high hang points. If you're a practical pilot, you're doing photography and you need to move around in your seat then the big advantage is that you will not be initiating a turn. If you are doing photography with the low hang point setup, you will initiate a turn automatically. All right, guys, that's basically the difference. I'm just going to quickly do a takeoff in the really stinky, shitty conditions of uh, road to wind. It's August winds in South Africa right now. You'll be able to, I'll try and show you uh, uh, weight shifting and high hang points, which is not existent. And yeah, so one last point. Um, some of the manufacturers are using the uh, the argument of saying that uh, uh, wing certification is nullified uh, on high hang points because DJC was done on low hang point test pilots. Uh, not true. Both Dudek and Nirvana send their harnesses, high hang point harnesses for certification with the same companies to get it. So there's nothing that's garage made. It's these companies offer high hang points. It, the DJC... Um, the DJAC certification is on the wing, not in the harnesses. So the companies that make these harnesses and setups, they won't be offering high hang points if uh, uh, if the if the, the certification was going to be nullified. So, mm. but however, it's important to ask your retailer for the wing choice that you're going to be flying. Something like Dudek, they pre-prepare the brake lines so that you can just automatically set it for high hang points. That's it in five minutes. I'm just going to give some bonus material on flying that you guys can see, uh, basically.
uh, what the weight shifting looks like. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Illustrating weight shift, I'm leaning to the right. You see, I can't really lean in any direction or high hang point, so weight shifting isn't really a prevalent system when it comes to uh, flying. I'm filling up the trim, putting my hands away. Let's have a look. Tip steering. Gonna grab the oscillation. In a really trashy condition, look at what that wing's doing. I need a bit of counter torque. Also a bit of counter torque on the right. And I'm flying straight. See that? The hands on the brakes. I'm not uncomfortable, but I can promise you if you were in hang points now, you'd be feeling a lot more.